Okay, we are back this week to continue showing you how to make some really easy cocktails for you to make at home. This one actually has been requested. Uh, it is called the Black Cherry Gimlet, and it has been on the menu at the Twisted Tail actually since day one. So it is a popular favorite from people who know and love the restaurant here. And they have requested that we give up the secrets. So once again, we're opening up our recipe books, and we are going to show you the Black Cherry Gimlet today. As the name infers, it is a spin on a very classic cocktail, the Gimlet. The Gimlet is a style of martini that uses either gin or vodka and pairs with lime juice. Very, very simple drink. We are elevating that very slightly with some other uh, flavor profiles with black cherry, obviously, and vanilla as well. Um, to do that, we are going to start off with a already infused vodka, just to make this very simple for you. This is from Effen. It is their black cherry and vanilla flavored vodka. Uh, it has really nice complexity to, to the spirit and you pick up on those different flavors. The black cherry is a real rich, uh, tangy fruit flavor and then the vanilla really smooths that out uh, for a nice profile. So this is gonna be our base today. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a shake and drink. So you want your cocktail shaker and add the ice. And into the ice, we are going to start straight away with the vodka. So we have our F and black cherry vanilla, and we're going to put two ounces of vodka into our shaker. So once again, introduce you to our jigger. This is our measuring utensil. So we have two ounces for the big side, one ounce for the small side. And if you don't have one of these at home, just keep the ratios the same. So two parts, that would be straight in there over the ice. The ice automatically is going to work right now with a little dilution, with a little chill factor. So we're going to make our job a lot easier when we go to shake it. Pairing with the vodka for the gimlet si side of this cocktail, we are using fresh lime juice. Uh, we've squeezed our lime juice and we're using a half an ounce, half a part of lime juice. Again, we're going up to the halfway mark on the small side then of our jigger, which is the one ounce side, to create half an ounce there. Lime juice, uh, if you don't have a jigger and you are eyeballing it, it's about a half of a nice juicy lime. will get you about a half an ounce of lime juice. But limes are very unpredictable, so we really do recommend any time, even if you're at home making a cocktail, to be measuring every single drink. That way you know that you got it right the first time and you'll get it right the tenth time as well. So on top of the lime juice here, we are now going to do a quarter ounce of simple syrup and a quarter ounce of black cherry syrup. Now quarter ounces are very hard to eyeball to get right. So what I recommend to everybody is that you build up to the halfway mark and keep both parts in here at the same time. So we'll start off here with half of our half to a quarter ounce of simple syrup. And then we are gonna leave that in here and fill up to the halfway mark with our black cherry syrup. Black cherry syrup, uh, we have got from our Marasca cherries. The Marasca cherries are a dark version of a maraschino. You'll have heard me talk about them in other videos that we use. Uh, we use them for our bourbon soaked cherries for different cocktails as well. They're a really great version of a preserved cherry and much more flavor and depth. Just drain all of the syrup off. Keep that to the side and that's what we're using right here for our black cherry syrup. Really nice and rich, really nice and viscous. It's going to end up with a great cocktail. So we have a quarter ounce of black cherry syrup, a quarter ounce of simple syrup, which is very easily made, equal parts, uh, regular white caster sugar to boiling water. Dissolve the sugar with the water um, and then chill it down and you have a simple syrup all ready to go. So that's going straight into the tin. I want to make sure we get all of that viscous syrup out of the jigger there. Now we're ready to shake it. Today, we're recording on a Wednesday. I know you're gonna be watching this on a Friday, but every Wednesday, Mikey Jr. comes here and plays for everybody on Facebook Live, so I'm gonna to shake to one of his songs. You wanna give it a nice shake. Count to 20, 30 in your head. Uh, your shaker tin should condense on the outside. Your hands will get shot cold and you'll feel that temperature. That's when you know you're done. 
This is going to be uh, served in a martini style, uh, just like a normal gimlet would be. So we have our martini glass. We're going to be straining all of the ice out of here. So for any of our up drinks, we're going to be double straining it. We've heard uh, our conversations about this as well. So this is going to go through a regular cocktail strainer and then through a tea strainer, which is much finer. That tea strainer will catch all the little chips of ice that have broken up whilst we were shaking, which have done their job in the tin, and we don't need them to do anything else in our glass. All that will do will give us a, a shock of uh, cold temperature, which we want consistency in the glass, so we're straining those out. All right. Just give it a little tap, and it'll get the liquid through the little ice chips that stay in the strainer. Now it looks good enough to drink, but you can't cheat yourselves because here comes the best bit, and that is, of course, the black cherry. So these are the Marasca cherries. We've used the syrup already. Now we're going to be using the actual cherry itself to garnish our drink with. We're just going to pierce that onto a cocktail pick, and we're going to dunk it straight into our cocktail and let that soak up the nice flavors, infuse with the alcohol in there, so that by the time we get to the bottom of our drink, we have the best surprise and the treat. So I hope you enjoy our black cherry gimlet from the Twisted Tail. Cheers.